As many of you may be aware, I received a call from David Richardson, an alumni out of Seattle, Washington, who called me late Friday evening. That was shortly after the moderators of the Facebook group page, Whitman Class of 78, banned my account from posting material on that Facebook group page. Um, apparently, they also purged a number of posts advertising an event on Tuesday, November 3rd. Um, well, let's look, in case you don't remember, let's look at, let's look at uh, a picture of Dave Richardson as he appeared um, for the uh, photo session for the senior yearbook. Uh, well, look at that, you know. I see he wore a suit and tie for the photo. See, this explains everything. He thought to wear a suit and tie for the yearbook photo. I forgot totally about it. I came to class uh, that day wearing a turtleneck. And that explains why he has a, a flourishing law practice with full-time employees. And here I have a IT business and everyone I have is a subcontractor. But that not aside, uh, Dave contacted me representing, uh, he, he claimed he was representing Liz Dane, who he said was upset about the domain uh, WWHS1978.org. And apparently a number of former committee members feel that the domain has been hijacked. Uh, those were his words. Um, Dave was asking me if I would be amenable to closing the site and stepping away from the domain. Um, the conversation was a mix it was at times pleasant and at times uh, it was a heated exchange. But what I'd like to do is go over the uh, timeline for the domain WWHS1978.org so you're familiar with the chain of events. So if you look at the graphic, um, on November 12, 2017, a group of 10 alumni met to begin planning the 40th reunion event. That was held on October 6th of 2018. On November 15, 2017, committee member uh, Greg Pickler, that's me, I recommended the domain name WWHS1978.org to the planning committee as the donate domain name of a new alumni site. At that time, um, the alumni had no website for the class of 78. I, I seem to recall Larry Howe had developed one, but it was since closed down. So going on, the same day, November 15, 2017, Open Systems Group, LLC, registers the domain name, WWHS1978.org. Uh, I own Open Systems Group, LLC. It's a limited liability company uh, established in Maryland. On November 17, 2017, I promoted a working image of the website on the domain, WWHS1978.org. It was a informational site at that time. It had no back-end database capabilities at that point. On January 28, 2018, I migrated Pilar Cunningham alumni directory into a SQL Server database and implemented a modified version of the web application on the domain WWHS1978.org. So at this point, I brought in some database functionality. Uh, I copied over a code set 
of work that I had done from another for another client. It was the Tau Epsilon Phi fraternity. It was actually the Tau Alpha Kappa chapter of the Tau Epsilon Phi fraternity um, that I had built a similar application, a registration application for that group. And I copied over the code base and implemented it on the WWHS1978.org. Now what that code base basically does, it allows uh, members to register uh, active accounts, to update their contact information, including their email address, phone number, and, a, and physical address. And it also allows members to download a spreadsheet of opt-in contact information of the entire alumni. So this comes in handy for anyone that wants to organize events or anyone that wants to get in touch with other alumni. They can download a spreadsheet and look up who they want to look up at, at any time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So advancing forward on July 15th, 2018, w, the um, Whitman alumni begin to register accounts on the domain www.hs1978.org. Presumably an announcement was made that we had this, uh, this website and people could uh, register, for, register accounts on the uh, website. On September 25th, 2018, the domain www.hs1978.org had achieved the number one rank on google.com for the search for age quote, Walt Whitman 1978 reunion. And that was important because we were getting about 40 visitors a day on the, uh, th uh, through Google. It was through a Google search. I seem to remember, for whatever reason, I seem to remember a number of about 40 people at the peak of people that found the reunion event or information about the reunion event on Google and clicked through to the site www.hs1978.org. And I know a number of you from speaking to you that you had found the Square Up page to pay and attend the event through that site. So that was very important. And then we had the, of course, we had the event on October 6th. October 10th, 2018, the Ad Hoc Planning Committee disbanded. There was no agreement reached as to when another planning committee would be formed or what year the next reunion would be held. I, th I think this is also important because there was no one left to make decisions about what would become of the website. So I took uh, the initiative to continue the website. I paid for uh, years of domain registration. DNS uh, services and kept the site going as well as the digital certificate that encrypts all the information, the contact information that you supply to the database. And it also encrypts the, the spreadsheet coming out so that the information remains private. Um, I, I took that initiative on my own. The ad hoc planning committee did not give any direction as to what to do with the website. Not, not, they didn't give any direction as a group of what to do with the website. There were a lot of opinions about how we should go forward with the domain www.hs1978.org, which I will not go into for this announcement. I would like to quickly run through some of the statistics on the database, largely because I rarely get a chance to look at it. No one's asking me for the statistics. However, currently there are 116 registered user accounts as of today, November 3rd, 2020. There are 715 active members. What's active? Well, anyone who's not deceased. I seem to recall a figure of 737 members. So that equates to 22 members are classified as deceased. That number may be accurate. It may be off now. Uh, I have, 
I haven't been polling the community to see if we have additional deceased members. There are 532 active opt-in email addresses. What is opt-in? Anyone that says, I opt-in to share my email addresses with the alumni. And there are 475 active opt-in phone numbers. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of information there if you're looking to try to find someone. 532 active opt-in email addresses that's almost the total student body of people that are on the directory have given away or given some form of contact information for people to act on. So it, it's a very valuable tool if you're looking for someone. If you fell out of contact with someone, you can download a spreadsheet and look them up. So where to go from here? In my discussions with Dave Richardson, I said to him that I would call Tracy Zeidfinger. Tracy was the chair of the 2018 planning committee. I'm rescinding that decision. The planning committee has been disbanded. There's no chair of a planning committee to negotiate the disposition of the domain WWHS. 1978.org. I'm not going to close the site. I'm not going to delete the database. I'm not going to walk away. There are far more people that find value in this site and this database of alumni opt-in contact information of the Whitman alumni. It would be a disservice to turn it off. What I will do is I will champion establishing a GoFundMe page to raise the funds necessary to form a 501c3 organization. I think we need some structure in this alumni group. We need elected officials. We need a board of directors who are elected to their positions and not just an ad hoc planning group. I will then engage my law firm, Pally Rothman, to create the 5013C organization. This all assumes that we can raise somewhere between five to $10,000. We might not. If we don't, we continue on as, as it is. If we do, if we can raise $50 from the 119 active accounts, sorry, 116 active user accounts, we're there. If we can raise $25 from 200 alumni, alumni members, we're there. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an overhead, but I think it's worth it. I will then proctor board elections, hopefully with the help of some keen individuals. And then there will be a domain handover to whoever is the elected person with the jurisdictional responsibility to deal with the website and the database. Again, there's nothing to stopping anyone from downloading a spreadsheet, opening up a domain, Whitman78.org, and recreating everything I did, but no one's doing it. I'm the only one that's doing it. This is a formal process. This is structure. I think it's the way to go. We'll find out. Any and all discussion will be conducted at Facebook group Walt Whitman Class of 78 open and uncensored. We're not going to get involved in politics of censoring people for their political orientations. It's just, it's just not constructive. Facebook has a facility to block anyone if you don't like what somebody says, if you're offended by what, by someone's political point of view or whatever they could say, you have the means to block that individual. There's no need to have a nanny state or a cancel culture in our alumni group. We're all mature adults. So that's what I'm proposing. Support it if you want. Trash it if you want. You know, but let's get on with it and... Stop bickering 
back and forth. I do want to have one last thing to say since tonight is election night. And no matter who you're pulling for, um, keep in mind, if your guy loses, next four years are going to fly by.